What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. We're looking at the four-hour time frame right now. It is the 20th of October. We're a little bit over four hours into the new day. Looking at the price action right now, it looks like you know we've consolidated. It looked rather bullish, didn't it? it? Had these higher lows with a very flat top, and we've broken it to the downside. So I want to throw out the idea that maybe we do see somewhat of a standard retracement based off of this move here, just from a from a low to a high there. Went below the 236 already. Actually, we've already had a move down to the 0.5. So with this in mind, what we would want to see is very clean support on the 382. If not, I mean, just any any kind of price above this area to find a low off of, right? We wouldn't want to go below it. If we were to go below the 382, likely we would go to the 61869. And is it really that big of a deal? Does it matter? I don't think so, right? 330, 335, that's not that scary. We're at 360 now. Let it go there. Let it come back. It, you know, it will. Higher lows. It doesn't matter. Um, but if you want to uh, avoid that, hold support at 354. Don't break below it. If you go a little bit below it, that's okay, right? But if you see something that like flirts with this area here, that's probably not okay and likely we will, we will be going down here, okay? Um, so I guess that remains to be seen. Four-hour RSI does allow for that, I think. It's, it's strong overall, but relative to its position here, I think that it would stand to reason that it could go lower. And with this lower movement, we could definitely push the price lower. It just depends on how low the price goes, right? Um, hopefully, we don't close anything below 354. That's all I'm saying. And even if we do, it's it's really not that big of a deal, okay? Um, all that to say, though, when we're done screwing around here in this range, um, you know, we'll, we'll just move up. I think it's kind of weird looking at it on a daily basis, right? On the four hour, I had no problem calling for it to go lower. But here, I'm, I'm having a hard time because you're you're above these previous areas of resistance, but you've broken back below. It's just so weird. It's not it's not conventional at all, right? You got your higher lows. You got your flat top here, right? You were looking like you broke out this day, and then really you've just been consolidating around here, which I guess isn't a bad thing, really. You know, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a fake out, but maybe it's just like like eagerness. I don't know. If we were to move down, again, I don't think that we'd move lower than these lows. We'd probably hold that 330 area, but I would think something that's that's not too crazy, nothing too far down, maybe right around that green line. Actually, what is that green line worth right now? That green line's at 350, so that, hey, that's uh, that's right around that 382, isn't it? Low to high here, right there, it's just below it. You know, Again, I wasn't wanting us to really go that low, but I suppose if it's like a wick, as long as we're closing above the 382, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, but soon, very, very soon, nothing's really changed, right? On, on a week to week, day to day, it always changes, right? Hour to hour, of course, it always changes, but week to week, month to month, we're waiting on the same stuff this week as we were back at the low here, you guys, as we were back at this low, right? We're waiting on, we're waiting here on this week, the same as we've been waiting this whole time. We're waiting for that move, that next move, which I do think will take us up to, you know, probably around 1300, if not as if not as high as like 1900, 1700, something like that. Yes, there are primary targets at $1,936, $1 $1,936, both of those targets. Um, but I'm kind of disregarding them. And I think appropriately so. Because, you know, if we take this high, high to low here, Bitcoin Cash went all the way up to the 2272. You take your high to low here in case you don't like that high to low. You want the actual high and low of that range. It went up to the 200 level. So 200, 2272, however you want to skin it, deep extensions. You take this high to this low here. You went right up above the 200 level, reaching for the 2272, but not quite getting there. I think it's more than appropriate to, uh, to expect prices at least here, if not higher. I'm just saying, you know, I... I don't think it's too much to ask. If we've gone to the 200 level or higher, the last two pumps, I'm calling for the 1618. That's that's two fibs down from the 200, right? Just saying. Makes sense to me. It would make sense to me that if we were to break this trend line on this next move, which by the way, that trend line would break this month at like 580, 600, something like that. Like right around 600 is where, where it would break. Um, I would expect that if we were to break this line, we don't just stop 
at nine hundred dollars or one thousand dollars we probably would go to the next logical area of resistance which would be the previous cycles highs which again that would be around sixteen seventeen hundred dollars i'm a broken record i got nothing else to say if you like this video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more content maybe we can look at the btc pair real quick btc oh baby I think it's just crazy how this pair's been bleeding, right? Oh, so slowly bleeding, which that's whenever whenever we broke it, right, back here, whenever we first had our, like, interaction that went below this line, I, I think I remember, and you can go back and check if you don't believe me, check any of my BCH versus BTC videos back in July. I believe I said this exact thing would happen, is that we would bleed out of it. We wouldn't, wouldn't break out of it. It wouldn't be, you know, it would just be like a linger below people shit their pants and then that's that's when we go up because these these diagonal lines don't really matter um they're just there to scare you and oftentimes right when you break it that's that's when you get that bullish reaction so just waiting on the move up on the btc pair waiting on the move up on the usd pair nothing new has really changed in that aspect so with that i really do leave you take care have a good night you guys i'll see you on the next one bye bye